Farming at Town Hall 11, what are the best strategies to use right now? What is up my friends? My name is Echo and today I'm over here in the Scrappy Wizards getting ready for some CWL battles and I figured I'd come at you guys with some farming strategies for Town Hall 11. As you can see I have some stuff shared from my clan mates here starting off with Joe who says I've been using this for years along with Barch and both still work as well as they did before. We're going to get into that one in a moment, guys. Before I do, I want to remind you to subscribe to the channel, enter our notifications for Daily Clash videos, guys. We're doing big things here in the channel. We're pushing 100,000 subscribers, road to 100K. Help me get there. Sub with the bell on, guys. Let's do this together as an Echo family. Now, let's go right into this replay here and see exactly what it is that Joe is using. I'm going to pause it for one moment, and we're going to notice that he did come upon a dead base, which is the best thing you could find when you're farming because you have less defenses to deal with expos eagles inferno towers at town hall 11 will not be a problem because they have no ammunition so the first thing you're going to want to try and do is find those dead bases and as you can see joe is farming in crystal league so that's usually one of the best places to farm the problem with it is there's not a lot of loot bonus the good thing is you find dead bases like these right here and it looks like he's going in with my favorite strategy right here guys is a queen walk minor attack we've done a bunch of these on the channel before and we're going to see some beautiful stuff happen here from joe right now queen walk is going to start over in the west being broken open into the base right there allowing her to get inside and uh, and clear out the base funnel things in a little bit for the miners that are going to come in under phase two of the attack for those of you wondering, when I was farming to get my heroes up, I was dark farming, I used Queen Walk Miner because it costs zero Dark Elixir. If you're trying to upgrade your heroes or you need Dark Elixir, this is the best strategy, along with Barch, in my opinion, to pull in the most Dark Elixir. And the reason I like this strategy more than Barch is it can three-star a base while Barch has a very difficult time doing that. Queen is going to be engaging with the enemy queen very soon. We have our king coming in with a wizard behind, breaking through that wall, pushing on into the base. Again, establishing that funnel, allowing for the miners to come on in and take down the rest of the base. And that's going to be happening very soon. King Queen doing some really great work, getting excellent value out of the heroes right here. Joe definitely knows what he's doing as he is a veteran to Clash of Clans and has been doing this farming stuff for quite some time. Here we go with the miners from the south pushing up into the base, straight in towards that town hall. And notice again, there are no huge threats in the center of the base. The Infernos, the Eagle, the Expos all are down. And another great thing about this strategy, you can bring Rage that'll enhance the miners in the core of the base, and you can bring Heals, which will keep them alive and you are going to be good to go the rage spells can also be used along with the queen walk if you need to enhance her healer use and another thing that's really sweet guys and you're seeing it happen right here those healers can jump onto the miners giving them extended life so the queen she may not need as many healers and a few of them may hop off onto the miners push on through and my number one thing that i love about this attack strategy is oftentimes you don't need to use all of your spells you can push through the base get things done and utilize only a handful of spells and as you can see right here joe does use that final heal spell although he didn't need to do it he couldn't didn't even need to use those hero abilities not one of them was used swagging the freeze spell on top of power king's clan castle right there Pulling in some good loot. Again, in Crystal League, the bonuses aren't huge, so you want to make sure the loot is big, and Joe definitely did right there. But we're going to go back into here and see what we have next, and it looks like Seabass is coming in. Minor farming to actually revenge. I farmed the bejesus out of him. Let's see exactly what went on here. Pausing it for a moment, we have all miners so we have a wrecker mass miner with the heroes town hall 11 lots of loot in this base so instead of that queen walk starting things out which is my personal favorite he's going straight on in with that wrecker with those miners behind and then going to clean up some stuff behind with the heroes here's the king and the queen coming in behind the miners with that grand warden as well everything pushing into the base at one time this is a one phase attack strategy no queen walk then king walk then minor like we saw in the last one although it wasn't a king walk it was just a king attacking the base with a, with a wizard in behind 
This one is not a dead base. As you can see, it is also in Crystal League, and there is a lot of loot in Crystal, guys. Sometimes you have to next a few bases to get that loot, but it is there. And the heal spells being used beautifully in this one. Because there are no healers, you do have to rely on those heal spells to keep the miners up and to keep those heroes alive because you have nothing enhancing the attack. Nothing bringing life back besides those spells. But Seabass did it really nicely here, doing exactly that as he's going to be pulling in three stars at 83% right now, guys, with just a bit more loot to pull in on this base. Feeling good, feeling like he has his pockets full. So, so far in this video, minor attacks, you have two forms. You have the Queen Walk Miner and you have the Mass Miner behind the Wall Wrecker dominating. And in my opinion, that is the best way to farm at Town Halls 10, 11, and Town Hall 12. Although, there are other strategies. And one of those we're going to take a look at right now. And it's with, um, I think we're going to be looking at Emperor right here. And he just says, boom. Let's take a look at what he has. A lot of elixir in this one. Taking a pause for a second. This is an OG attack right here, guys. He's got those two lava hounds, 28 minions, 28 balloons. It's like a lava loon or a... Um, yeah, basically a Lava Loon or a La Loon attack with a lot of minion support. Also has those slammers. Let's just see how he gets it done. This guy is in Champions 3, so he's a little bit higher up in the leagues, using those minions up in the top of the base and in the west to try and funnel things out. So it's like a mix of a, a Lava Loon and a Loon Yin attack. A Lava Loon attack is more of a war strategy where you're going with your Lava Hounds tanking, balloons behind, taking out defenses, then a couple of minions and pups to clean up the base. But here... Lunion, or this isn't this is kind of a mix of both, but Lunion is where you just go on with balloons and with minions behind, line them up in the base and completely push through the base as far as you can. Usually that is not a three-star strategy. Let's see exactly what Emperor can take in on this base. Well, we know he's gonna get the 100 percent So actually, no surprises here, guys. He's gonna get all the loot, but it's always nice to watch and see. We are looking at a newer town hall 11 right here. The Eagle is placed though, and the Inferno Towers are looking pretty solid, as well as those heroes being 40-40, so it's not a, not a dead easy base. Definitely a strategy that can get that loot, that can get it done, but it does cost Dark Elixir. You're, you're spending Dark Elixir on those Lava Hounds, and on those minions, here comes the slammer coming into the base. We have the lava hounds and the balloons coming in from the northeast side of the base, pushing that base into that sweeper. I feel like I'm casting something right now, guys. It just feels so great to do it. And that Grand Warden's ability is clutch right there as the Lava Hound and the Balloons. No, it looks like the Lava Hounds are all gone. The tanks are done in this one besides that uh, that Stone Slammer, although it's not really a tank. It's just like a, a balloon on steroids right there. And you got to say, it's looking good. Look at these minions coming in behind all the, all the balloons, cleaning up everything behind with those heroes, with that Grand Warden support. Really nice looking attack right here, guys. And... Uh, those minions crushing the center of the base. Stone Slammer still up. Not even going to drop those balloons, but it looks like it's going to right now. Into a rage spell, which goes into the air defense, taking it down. And, well, this is a thing of beauty. You got to love it when you come to bases. And, you know, farming is great. You don't need the three star, but it feels really good when you can pull in that triple, demolish the base, knowing that your strategy got the job done. But we have one more. From Captain Nemo himself. And it's going to, he says right here, bats worked pausing it right here with the drag bat attack strategy with bats just being nerfed a few days ago in my opinion the bat spells are still working beautifully now this is a higher base in the town hall 11 but we have to show captain nemo stuff because well it's a bat attack it's got a ton of loot over there so why not add a town hall 12 to the mix what you're basically adding as defenses go is an extra infernal tower and a, a town hall that is a defense itself. Now, this is a level three town hall. Bats are doing a nice job. Baby dragons coming in as well. So those of you that are not yet at town hall 12, this is what you have to look forward to when you're done farming up your 11 and you're jumping into your town hall 12. You'll get to go after bases like this. I want you guys to let me know in the comments below right after you're done dropping a like on the video because you obviously enjoy what you're watching or else you wouldn't be here right now. Let me know which strategy is your favorite to farm at your Town Hall level. So if you're a Town Hall 9, tell me what strategy are you using to farm? If you're a Town Hall 10, what strategy? 11, what strategy? 12, 
what strategy. Tell me what you guys are using. For me personally, I'm currently using all dark troops to do my farming for one reason and one reason only. I no longer need dark elixir. My heroes are all maxed and I'm almost done with the dark elixir research. So dark elixir means nothing to me anymore because everything is already maxed out so i will farm with valkyries i'll farm with bowlers i'll farm with anything that's dark i'll farm with bow witch all day just because i have that loot i don't need that loot what i need is the gold and the elixir and i don't want to waste the elixir on cooking up the armies but most people are not in my position. Most people don't have maxed heroes and are going to need that dark. So in that case, at Town Hall 11, I highly suggest farming with Queen Walk Mass Miner. That is my personal favorite attack strategy to farm that I did from Town Halls 10 through Town Hall 12, where I'm at right now, guys. But I hope you enjoyed today's video. Definitely something different. I'm usually bringing you guys war strategies, but today, bringing you those farming strats because really, guys... To get those bases strong, to get those attacks strong, to get your troops strong, you need to farm up those bases and be able to get the uh, the power behind your attack so that you can three-star in war. It's all connected. This whole thing is connected, guys, just like this channel is to my Discord server, which you can find over there or in the description below. And remember, guys, you can always hit me up on Twitter. I kind of live there. I love Twitter. Come on down. Follow me at Echo Through Me and tweet at me. Tell me what you're thinking for the day, guys. On top of that, remember, I am sponsored by G Fuel. Save yourself 10% on all G Fuel products using code ECHO at gfuel.com. But for today, that has been it. I love you guys. I'm really excited to be on my road to 100,000 subscribers. This is actually my first video that I'm mentioning that. But we're at 90,000, almost 91,000 subscribers. Really getting close it's feeling like it can actually happen right now guys 100,000 help me get there share these videos with your friends with your family and with everyone that you know that is into clash of clans or may one day want to be into clash of clans i'll see all you guys back here later on today until then be good